This is going to be awkward reading then for the PM. Uh, yes, it will be. Good morning, Isabel. Good morning, Eamon. Those, uh, that, that forecast on the local resu uh, election results in May, based on some analysis by top Conservative pollster Lord Hayward, who uh, joins us now. Uh, Lord Hayward, really good to see you. Um, this analysis, uh, you've taken into account the current national polls and also uh, the boundary ward changes within London, and it doesn't make for good reading for the Prime Minister. No, the polls have moved against the Conservatives. They've moved against the Prime Minister over the last month. And taking those into consideration, the Conservatives would have real problems in Wandsworth and would face s similar but uh, slightly easier challenges in Westminster, Hillingdon and Barnet, where the Tories are slightly further ahead than in Wandsworth. Yeah, and just give us an idea of how bad that would be for the Conservatives, given they control seven of the London bar out of the 32 London boroughs. If they were to lose four, how, bad, how damaging would that be for the Prime Minister? That it, it would be the worst results the Conservatives have had in London since the London boroughs have existed in this form, which is over 50 years. So psychologically, it would be bad for the Prime Minister and for the Tory party. But having said that, we are talking about the middle of a parliamentary uh, period bef between one election and the other and you would expect the Labour Party to be well ahead under these circumstances. Yeah and there's a long way to go until May right so so w w you'd add a pinch of salt to that forecast? Even in the last day or so the opinion polls have moved slightly back towards the Conservatives. I did the analysis on the basis of what we were looking at in throughout December but polls move and therefore what happens is May, it may well be very different from what happened, what it would have happened if we'd been voting this week. Yes, yeah, so how crucial are those elections in May then? If he were to lose these seats and potentially local authorities outside London, how bad would that be for the, for the Prime Minister? Could we see a, a Conservative leadership election? No, I, you don't know one event triggers a, a leadership change. What happens, whether you're leader of a government or leader of the opposition, is a loss of power, loss of influence, or the gaining of power and influence is attritional. It takes places over stages. And therefore, MPs, the public at large, number 10, will judge the May elections against the background of all the other political events in April and May. Yeah. In your personal opinion, what does the Prime Minister have to do to pull things back? It He's got to show, as he has actually has done over the last few days, that he is in control, he is managing the government, and that there aren't these sleaze and party gate incidents which have made the public really angry, um, quite reasonably so. And the government has to avoid those sorts of problems and get back to governing and achieving progress in relation to the pandemic.